Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick story on Jonathan Majors and Megan Good. Listen, many people were skeptical about their relationship. They thought that, you know, Jonathan was just using Megan Good to have somebody on his arm while he was going through his tumultuous time in a trial against ex-girlfriend Grace Jabari. But listen, these two have stood the test of time. So much so that he said he going to propose to her. That wedding bells is in the air. And I'm still a little bit shocked because I'm not going to lie. I was one of those that was given the side eye about Jonathan and um, Megan's relationship. But it seems like these two are thick as these. Um, they're really in love. So much so that he is one day going to propose to Megan Good. Let's hear his side of the story. Hold on one second. Hey, Jonathan. Oh, shit. What's up? <laughs> a lot of people want to know. Are you and Megan going to get engaged? I mean, do you want to propose? Ooh. <laughs> do you want to propose, maybe? Of course. I love that. Of course. So you guys have had the conversation then. <laughs> so, so, okay. I mean, you guys are a power couple. I mean, have you felt the support from like, your community and your families? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Both yeah. families on board then. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, do you guys plan to do like a movie together? I mean, you guys are both. I mean, you guys are both amazing actors. Come on. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. I mean, you just landed your major role since being back. I mean, how does it feel to be back? Have you felt the support from fans? It feels yeah. It feels, it feels great. You know, I'm I'm just excited. You know, I feel um, I just love it so much. So yeah, I'm I'm excited and I'm feeling a lot of love from. From the, from, the, from the homies, from the fans. So yeah, I'm excited. His conversation was different, but you know, Jonathan Majors has always been a little bit different. Jonathan Majors is so smitten with Megan Good, he openly saying he's ready to lock it down and put a ring on it. And um, we caught up with the actor Tuesday in West Hollywood, and he tells us he's all in to proposing on in all in on proposing to Megan Good, who's been ride or die with him through his legal drama. Um they're a cute couple. Um now admittedly we kind of put Jonathan on the spot. Although he could have taken the fifth, but he did not opt to zip his lips when was when we pressed about potential wedding talks. You can see he's playing it cool, but that smile on his face certainly looks like the couple's gearing up for the next step. And soon, things are looking great for him on the work front, too. And he tells us he's feeling the love from fans for his new um, indie movie role. And, you know, Megan also um, said, you know, she went against the grain when she kind of, you know, had her relationship with Jonathan Majors, despite all of her friends and her people saying, hold on, wait a minute, be careful. Um, I play that here. She went on. Uh, was when things heat up. You don't just want let me just um, slow that for a minute. He mentioned both their families and friends have been super supported, but it seems Megan's new crew needed a bit more time to warm up. Earlier this month, she revealed some friends advised her to stay away because there's legal issues. You're dating Jonathan Majors. Yeah. You said you've never been happier. <laughs> Y'all have had a year. I mean, yeah. Yeah. how have you kept your relationship or started a relationship in the midst of all of this? Uh, well, I won't get into how, how it started, but what I will say is... Um, this Wait, hold on. She won't get into how it started. Uh, I, I'm feeling like she won't get into how it started because I feel like that night, that uh, unfortunate night when Jonathan and Grace Jabari were hanging out and then all of a sudden he got a text message on his phone and Grace wanted to see it. I believe it was Megan Good. But listen, I don't know. This is just my thoughts out of the whole situation. And that's why she don't want to get into how their relationship started. Let's continue. Support that we've been able to give each other, the pouring into each other, the honest conversations, the love, the respect, um, just the care and the thoughtfulness. It's just, it's been really, just really wonderful. And mm. Yeah. <laughs> Did any friends advise you like he's in the middle of legal troubles? Why don't you wait to be? May, why don't you wait to see how everything kind of shakes uh, out? Yeah, every friend <laughs> advised me. Yeah. Uh, you know, but at, at the end of the day, I 
one thing I know is I can always look myself in the mirror when I trust my spirit, when I trust God, when I ask God, and when I, you know, move to the beat of my own drum, I can always look and say, okay, I'm proud of that. No matter whatever happens, I have peace in my heart and I have harmony in my heart. And it's only when I do something based on someone else saying, well, yeah. I think you should do this. And I, and I take everyone I love's uh, yeah, advice, opinion sure. and advice into account for sure. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the one who, who has to live my life and I'm the one who has to, you know, uh, get to heaven one day uh, <laughs> prayerfully and, and give God an account of what I did. And so I want to be responsible for the choices that I make. And, and I also want to live the life that I want to live. Okay, so she says she got to live her life. And yes, I'm sure friends warned her. Remember, Jonathan Majors was arrested in March 2023 for allegedly assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. He was later found guilty on two misdemeanor counts of assault and harassment and acquitted of striking her in their um, rideshare SUV. He was not sentenced to any jail time, but he definitely had to um, uh, uh, do, you know, uh, what do you call it? He has to do counseling for a whole year and it has to be in person. And I believe it's once a week. Last month, Jonathan delivered an emotional acceptance speech he was, uh, as he was honored at the Impact Awards for his perseverance. And um, I'm not going to play that here. It's pretty lengthy, but um, Iyana Van Zandt was there, fixed my life. Okay. It was the, the speech was a little dramatic. I mean, go watch it. It's kind of epic because Iyana hugs him. Um, at one point, he had to blow his nose, and she was holding the tissue while he she he blew his nose. It's a bit dramatic, okay, and very emotional because he got emotional. But in addition to that, Megan Good was in the audience, and she got very emotional also. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Listen, guys, chat with me and let me know what do you think about these two relationships. Do you think the proposal will be anytime soon? Did you think that their relationship was going to last as long as it did? Um, I am shocked. But again, I said to y'all earlier that I do believe that Megan Good was kind of in the background all along. I think he just didn't know like many men. And this is very unfortunate. A lot of men will be in one situation, um, find that they like another situation better, but still kind of like a little bit of the benefits that they're getting from situation number one, and they don't quite know how to tell situation number one. Listen, I found somebody else. It's over. I want to break up. And it's even harder when you have that person living in your home, because what do you say? Um, 30 days and I need you out. Like, do you put them, that person out on the street? So I think that's what Jonathan Majors found himself in a situation where he was kind of running two relationships kind of parallel, um, fell more for Megan Good and didn't know how to tell Grace, listen, it's a wrap, it's over. But not only that, I need you to get out of my home. And pretty messy. So that, you know what, a, a lesson from that is don't move nobody into your home unless y'all two are husband and wife. Anyway, guys, chat with me. I'll chat back. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you on the next video.